once again, we have somebody trying to catch Jesus in saying something that will get him into trouble. It sounds like he has dealt well with the Sadducees, and now a scribe, who was probably a Pharisee, has come to him and tried to do the same thing. Well, which rule is the greatest? Well, no matter which one he chooses, he will have dis, dis, devalued one of the others and get himself into trouble. Jesus answers very wisely in the way that any rabbi would, because this is what it says in the law of Moses, are the greatest of the laws of God. And it seems like maybe the, the guy who was trying to catch him uh, is disappointed. He didn't get the response he wanted. He didn't get the, the chance to hook Jesus the way that he wanted. I'm sure there's probably some of that in what he was doing, but I'd like to be at least a little bit kind to him, a little bit you know, compassionate, and suggest that maybe when he heard Jesus say what he said and repeated it back to him, you notice, he was himself being reminded, oh, yeah, right, this really is the most important thing. This person who would probably have been so deeply involved in the, the day-to-day and year-to-year -year practice of his faith and all the many rules that went into it and all the complexities of it, that he might well have forgotten what it was that made him do all of it in the first place. <clears throat> I feel like some of us are in that position today. Perhaps we are in need of being reminded what the basic thing is. I texted with someone this morning and pointed out that the world woke up this morning just as broken and just as sorrowing as it would when it had anyone else ended up being elected today. Whatever the outcome of yesterday was, the world is just as sad, just as broken, just as much in need of God's compassion today as it was yesterday, and just as much today as it will be tomorrow. And the children of God would do well to remember that we woke up this morning as children of God with no less work to do than we would had anything else happened yesterday. Indeed, regardless of what happens tomorrow or the day after or at any point in the next four years, eight years, 1,000 years, the children of God still are in the business of building the kingdom of God. It is still our job to bring mercy and justice into the world in whatever way we are able to do that. It is still our job to bring healing and comfort into the world in whatever way we are able to do that. Regardless of who we may choose to, as I put it in my text message, scratch at the surface of these problems, which is all that our leaders can ever really do, it, is, it has been laid on us by the grace of God, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit to get beneath the surface of these things and to do what it is that we have been called to do. Today is the day for you and I to say, oh yeah, right, that is why we have been put here, to do justice, to love mercy, to walk humbly with God, and to recognize the world needs those things today more than ever, and if not you, then who? If not us, then who? It is for us to continue the work God has given us to do, not to be discouraged, not to to be dejected, not to turn away from that work, but rather to recommit ourselves to bring the justice, mercy, love, compassion, healing, reconciliation into this world that God desires, and to recognize that that work has been laid on us today as always. Amen.